like to welcome our dearest viewers via Nursat and Telelumier. And we begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis, children were killed because of war and left on desperate journey. King Abdullah II, there will not be any solution to the Palestinian issue at the expense of Jordan. Cardinal Pizzabella presided over the graduation of students of the theological course in Bejala. Welcome back. On the occasion of the Feast of the Virgin Mary, Immaculate Conception, His Holiness Pope Francis went to the Spanish Steps in Rome to perform the annual tradition act of homage. After reciting the Hail Mary, the Holy Father recited a prayer in which he thanked our Mother Mary for her special presence that gives us comfort and hope. Because her presence and admiration makes us feel the stability in this faith that is being tested by the events that we are living through in the shadow of a war that had made tortured people live in a cycle of violence, and mothers who cry for sons were killed left on journeys full of desperate hope. His Holiness called on Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, saying, We ask you to dry the tears of the bereaved mothers and the tears of their loved ones, and to help us to undertake a journey of education and purification. In conclusion of his prayer, Pope Francis confirmed that there is no peace without forgiveness and no forgiveness without repentance. He then appealed to Jesus, saying, Come, Lord, let your kingdom come, the kingdom of love, justice, and peace. King Abdullah II reaffirmed that there will not be a solution to the Palestinian issue at the expense of Jordan. He stressed that Jordan is confident in itself and strong with the awareness of its people and the strength of its army and security services. During his meeting with the heads of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and a number of retired security directors, he reiterated that Jordan's strength and deterrence politically, economically, and security-wise, is a strength for the Palestinian brothers. He stressed that this homeland was built with the determination of its sons, and our collective responsibility is to uphold its supreme interest and protect it. The king called for not paying attention to the voices that try to divert us from serving our brothers and defending them. He also affirmed the kingdom standing alongside the Palestinian people in their steadfastness on their land. He reaffirmed Jordan's firm position on the need for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, the protection of civilians, and the delivery of assistance in a sufficient and sustainable manner to the people of Gaza to elevate the tragic situation in this trip. In order to promote the spirit of Christian faith and prepare lay people among the parishioners, a graduation ceremony for the first batch of students of the theological course organized by the Center of Christians Formation in Bejala was held in Bejala. The graduation ceremony was sponsored by His Eminence Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem, for the Latins. During the ceremony, His Eminence addressed the participants and said, I grew up in a believing Catholic home. Like each of you, when I studied theology, I deepened my faith and got to know the main figures in the history of salvation. Since my appointment as Patriarch of this diocese, I have realized the need to establish the center to provide theological education for young people in the Arabic language. In conclusion, His Eminence congratulations the graduate for all age groups on their perseverance in these courses, despite the difficult circumstances the country is going through, expressing his wishes to generalize these courses to different parts of the diocese. His Excellency Bishop Jamal Khadr, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, presided over the Holy Mass that was held at the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the Latins in Fahis. On the occasion of the inauguration of the General Assembly of the Latin Patriarchate Scouts for the year 2024, in the presence of a number of priests and the participation of a large number of Scout members from different churches in the Kingdom. The Arab Christian Initiative affirmed the standing of all Jordanian Christians behind the wise Hashemite leadership and its appreciation for the efforts of the Jordanian government aimed at stopping the Israeli aggression on the Gaza Strip. The initiative also affirmed in a press conference held at the Orthodox Society in Amman, in the presence of representatives of local and international media institutions, its support for the decision of the Council of Presidents of Churches in Jordan to cancel all manifestations of the celebrations of the glorious feast and to limit them to prayer and religious rituals in the churches. In a statement issued by the initiative, it pointed to the authentic Arab Christian struggle history in confronting Zionist ambitions and confronting the myth of Christian Zionist coming from the West. It explained that our Christian identity in the region is rooted as the roots of olive trees in a land whose soil is purified by the feet of Jesus Christ, carrying a pan-Arab message for the defense of our national issues, at the top of which is the just Palestinian cause in the face of a system of colonialism and occupation. 
Bishop William Shomali, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jerusalem and Palestine, sent a message to the faithful calling for solidarity with the people of the Gaza Strip. This came during the festive mass for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which was held at the parish of the Holy Family for the Latins in Ramallah, with the participation of Father Jacob Rafidi, the pastor of the church. A religious seminar entitled The Meanings of Christmas was held beforehand, which was presented by Bishop Shomali to the parishioners. He discussed the spiritual meaning of Christmas, salvation, and liberation from the sin and guilt, which are the cause of the tragedy of humanity. Bishop Shomali stressed that the meanings of Christmas lie in a spiritual joy away from external celebrations. While Christians around the world are preparing to celebrate Christmas, the parish of the Holy Family in Gaza City is living this period, awaiting salvation. They have great trust in God because they are completely convinced that He will put an end to this tragic conflict. In Gaza, the Advent season began this year amid the sound of explosions and flying sharpnel from bombs that did not spare the churchyard. A tragic situation that exposes the lives of hundreds of Christian citizens to danger after they have lost everything but hope. But they always gather around the altar to raise prayer for peace. On the occasion of Christmas, they wrote a greeting card addressed to the child Jesus, asking him to return to their homes. Their only consolation now is the daily communication of His Holiness Pope Francis to reassure them as he expresses his constant closeness to them. There is also a girl in the parish of the Holy Family in Gaza who says, Christ strengthened us. The Rosary Prayer, the Eucharist, and the presence of the House of the Lord are the weapons through which we draw in our peace. We are children who plead and pray and ask God to end the war. On the occasion of the celebration of the Immaculate Conception, His Eminence Father Ibrahim Nafa, priest of the parish of St. John de La Salle in Jabal al-Hussein, presided over the Mass of the second Sunday of Advent. During the Mass and in conjunction with the celebration of this occasion, the renewal of the promise to the Marian Brotherhood, Queen of Peace, was held. The Mass was celebrated by the choir of the parish and the servants of the sanctuary in the presence of the youth. After the Mass, which was attended by a group of parishioners, Father Nafa presented the Brotherhood with the icon of the Miraculous Mary. In his sermon, Father Nafa focused on the message of John the Baptist, which requires us as believers to be in the image of the Baptist. Father Nafa also touched on the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception and how our sisters and mothers can be like our mother Mary the Virgin, who accepted the word, carried it, lived it and preached it. The Church of Jesus the King in Mazdar also celebrated the second Sunday of Advent and the Feast of the Brotherhood for the Ladies of the Immaculate Conception, headed by Sister Michelin Malouf. The celebration, which was presided over by His Eminence Father Suleiman Shubash, priest of the parish, included the renewal of the promise of the Ladies of the Brotherhood. Sister Janet Jamal was also honored and bid farewell for her monastic service in her parish, which she loved dearly and lasted for about 25 years. The office of Nursat TV, represented by its director, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, wishes mother, sister Janet, continued health and well being. Under the patronage of the general director of Latin schools, His Eminence Father Firas Nasrawin, the general administrator of the Latin schools, organized a special activity on the occasion of Christmas at the Latin monastery schools in Ashrafiyya. Ten schools in the areas of Al Mazdar, Tla Al Ali, Jbeha, Al Hashm al Shamali, Fahis Al Alali, Zarqa al Shamali, Zarqa al Janubi, and Al Ashrafiyya gathered in a Christmas competition of 2023 to make a Christmas tree using natural materials after recycling to form a distinctive product at a low cost. According to the decision of the jury, which was composed of Mr. Zuhrab, the private photographer of His Majesty the late King Hussein, and the artist Anwar Haddadin, the first, second, and third places were won by the Latin schools of al Shafiyya, the Latin schools of Jubeha, and the Latin schools of Zarqa Shamali, respectively. The competition was attended by His Eminence Father Suleiman Shubash, pastor of Jesus the King Church in Mazdar, Mrs. Samar Smirat, the executive director of Latin schools, Mrs. Nadine Amari, the director of Latin schools of Ashafiyya, and Mr. Raid Haddad, the activity officer in Latin schools. The competition was titled Make a Tree with a Nativity Cave. In the city of Nazareth, in the presence of a number of archbishops, priests, nuns, and a large crowd of guests, the seventh competition for knowledge of the Bible was inaugurated at the St. Anthony Center. The competition was organized in cooperation with the Latin family of the Annunciation Club under the auspices of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem, the Custody of the Holy Land, the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate, the Melkite Greek Catholic Archdiocese, the Maronite Archdiocese of Haifa, the Angelican Diocese of Jerusalem, the World Council of Churches, the Catholic School's Office, and the Nazareth. Bible House. The number of participants in the competition was 322 participants from all Christian dioceses, both Western and Eastern. 
In Baghdad, the festival of the Church of Our Lady of the Annunciation concluded with a divine liturgy, which was attended by a number of archbishops, priests from several local churches, with the presence of nuns and a crowd of believers. During the festival's three-day events, Archbishop Basilius presided over the liturgy for the sake of peace in the world, especially in the Holy Land, as well as for the Church and the Feast of the Annunciation, on behalf of the Patriarch Raphael Sacco, asking for the intercession of Our Mother, the Virgin Mary. In his sermon, he focused on the work of the Holy Spirit in Mary's response to the Word of God and her full readiness to do God's will and serve with all love and humility. After the final blessing and speeches, everyone headed to the charity market in the churchyard. Here, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcast. And before we conclude, here's a reminder of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, children were killed because of war and left on desperate journeys. King Abdullah II, there will not be any solution to the Palestinian issue at the expense of Jordan. Cardinal Pizzabella presided over the graduation of students of the theological course in Bejala. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. See you again soon.